What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so as we all know OnePlus 6 series have already received the last official update from OnePlus which is based on Oxygen OS 11 and in future we won't get to see any more updates from OnePlus for OnePlus 6 and 60 and after that most owners of OnePlus 6 and 60 are moving towards custom ROM and also taking initiative to root their devices so here in this video we'll show you step by step guide on how to root your OnePlus 6 or 60 running Oxygen OS 11 so without wasting any more time Let's get started. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 60 which is currently running on the latest build of Oxygen OS and the final one which is Oxygen OS 11.1.2.2. So this is the final build of Oxygen OS for OnePlus 6 series. And to root your device first of all make sure you take entire backup of your device and your device is sufficiently charged. And then you will be requiring few more files which I'll tell you in a later part of this video. First on your device take backup go to about section tap on the build number seven times until you see you are a developer now after that just go back go to system and under developer options first thing what you need to enable is you need to enable oem unlocking so to root a device first we need to unlock the bootloader and after that we'll flash twrp followed by magist manager then also turn on advanced reboot option and usb debugging and later on your PC, you'll be requiring these many files. So here we have TWRP image and zip file along with Magisk. And guys, it's an APK file. What you have to do is just right click on the file, tap on rename. And instead of APK, you need to add .zip and save the file. After that, you'll be requiring platform tools and ADB setup. And guys, if you don't install proper ADB or fastboot drivers on your PC, there are possibilities that your device won't be detected on your windows. So we have made a dedicated video. If you guys face any kind of issues related to ADB or fastboot, then just follow that video guide to install ADB drivers or fastboot drivers. So here we have the ADB setup. Again, right click and extract the file. Once you extract, here we'll have an exe file. You just need to follow the on-screen instructions. As said, if you face any kind of issues while installing ADB drivers, refer to this video. Also extract the platform tools and platform tools are not mandatory just to unlock the bootloader. You can do one thing, once you install ADB drivers, there will be an ADB folder in the C drive. So as you can see here, we have an ADB folder got created after installing ADB drivers. On my PC, ADB drivers were previously installed. What you have to do is just copy the recovery file and place it inside the ADB folder. If you have ADB folders already installed, or you have platform tools then you can place these files in the platform tool itself and now where you have placed the recovery files there only you need to open up command prompt and easiest way to open up command prompt is type cmd in the address bar and hit enter once you have all those files on your pc and if you have successfully installed the adb slash fastboot drivers now it's time to unlock the bootloader so once again guys make sure to take the entire backup of your device before proceeding then later as we enabled advanced reboot option so whenever you press the power key you'll get these three dots on the right top corner here you need to select bootloader now your device will boot into fast boot mode so as you can see here it says device state logged that means we still haven't unlocked the bootloader of a device so now it's time to unlock the bootloader first connect your device to pc and after that in the command prompt give a command fast boot devices and hit enter if you see the serial number that means your device is properly connected in fast boot mode and your pc can easily detect your device but if you don't get to see anything over here after typing the command fast boot devices then make sure to once again check out our video of adb and fast boot fix hopefully with that video you guys should be able to install fast boot drivers or adb drivers on your pc so for us we don't have any kind of issues device is detected on our pc now next command what we have to give is to unlock bootloader and the command will be fastboot oem unlock guys these commands will be mentioned in the description below along with all the files so once you type this command hit enter and now on your device you will get a warning and a message to confirm whether you want to unlock the bootloader so you can make changes using volume key as you can see here I selected unlock bootloader using the volume key of my device and now I'll make selection using the power key. Now my device will boot into recovery, perform a factory reset and back into system. So as you can see our device successfully booted into system. 
So we'll complete the initial setup and we won't be adding a Google account right now. For once again go to settings, about section, tap on the build number 7 times, go to system, developer options and here you can see now you won't be able to make changes on OEM unlocking because we have already unlocked the device. Let's enable advanced reboot along with USB debugging. Now it's time to sideload the recovery. So let's again boot a device into fast boot mode, tapping on these three dots, select bootloader. And now if you take a look at under device state, it says unlock. So that means we have successfully unlocked the bootloader. Again, connect your device to PC. So for once, again, give a command to check whether your device is properly connected in fast boot mode or not. Give the command fast boot devices and hit enter. So here you can see we have the serial number. That means our device is properly connected in fast boot mode. Okay, so now let's sideload the recovery. To sideload the recovery or to boot your device into recovery, you need to give the command which is fast boot, boot and drag and drop the recovery image file. Once done, just hit enter. Now your device should boot into TWRP recovery. And there we go. Now we are into TWRP recovery. And guys, make sure to use the specific recoveries which are given in the description below. Using different recoveries might lead to crash dump mode. To avoid that, make sure to use the recovery which we have tested. After you boot into recovery, just tap on install and see. If you see multiple folders with weird names, then it is required to perform a factory reset. In that case, you can go to wipe section, hit the format tab and type yes here and hit this blue tick mark. But if you see everything is normal here in the storage section, then on your PC, you need to copy two files. One is the TWRP zip file. Using this file, we'll have permanent TWRP recovery installed on a device and later magisk, which is required to root the device. Copy these two files and paste it inside the internal storage. So we'll paste both these files here. Once done, now you should be able to see the files in the storage section. Tapping on install and here you can see we have both these files. So first what we'll do, we'll flash the TWRP zip file. Swipe to confirm flash. Once you are done successfully flashing with TWRP zip, go back to the main home page, tap on reboot and select reboot recovery. And once you are back into recovery, now it's time to install the magisk manager or magisk zip file. Select this, swipe to confirm flash. After successfully flashing magisk zip, just tap on reboot and your device should be now rooted. Reboot system. Okay, so now our device have been successfully booted up and you should have magisk apk installed. But right now, we need to connect a device to stable internet connection. After that, soon you tap on this magisk apk, it will ask you for update. So I'll connect my device to Wi-Fi and add my Google account to show you guys whether a device is properly rooted or not. Okay, so now we have added our Google account. Let's tap on this Magisk APK. As you can see here, it is asking for full Magisk upgrade. Tap on OK. This will download the APK and install it. And if it doesn't download automatically, then just use the Magisk APK and install it manually. That might happen if you don't have stable internet connection. So the APK have been properly installed. Now let's tap on Magisk. Here it says installed version is 24.1. And now let's check the root access using root checker application. Tap on verify. And here we have the pop-up of super user request. Tapping on grant. It says congratulations root access is properly installed on your device. So guys, this way you can root your OnePlus 6 or 60 running the latest and the final build of Oxygen OS 11. If you still have any kind of questions, you can anytime message me on Instagram or Telegram. Links of both those platforms will be given in the description below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, you can new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.